What if the 400 prisoners in the 1940s quinine malaria experiments had all survived the toxic overdoses? In reality, dozens died from experimental anti-malarial drugs at Stateville Penitentiary, but imagine if none of them had. Researchers would never have learned the lethal limits of quinine compounds. When those drugs went to market for World War II troops, they would have been fatally flawed. Thousands of soldiers in the Pacific theater would have died from their malaria treatment, not the disease itself. Critical battles like Guadalcanal and Iwo Jima could have been lost to poison medicine cabinets. Modern malaria protocols would still be based on those deadly dosages. Pharmaceutical testing ethics might never have been established without those horrific deaths as a warning. The terrifying truth is that those prisoner deaths, though absolutely horrific, prevented mass casualties. They established drug safety standards that save millions of lives today. Sometimes the most disturbing experiments create the knowledge that protects us all.